I am creating a tattoo competition for tattoo artists to showcase their best work. No drama, no categories, just amazing tattoos. Winner will be taking home $5,000. If you are interested in participating, stay tuned. We will begin accepting submissions in a couple weeks. Do you think your favorite tattoo artist got what it takes? Tag them on this video. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm going to be doing a full torso cover up on my client for the next three days. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, brother? Hey, nice meeting you. Kevin, have a seat. Uh, and then, um, I got a new job, higher paying job. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna hit him up. Mm -hmm. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> you know? He's gonna tell me no. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I hit him up and then he said yes. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, this here is really happening. Go. Yeah, here we fucking go. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're here for a reason. Yeah. Uh, I know it's nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. It's a cover up. Yeah. I've seen worse than yours, yeah. for sure, because I, this is what I do. Yeah. But uh, I just wanna reassure you that I'm gonna get it done. Okay. And it's gonna look amazing. Cool. Yeah, I don't doubt that at all. Yeah. Or else I wouldn't have someone <laughs> else try to mess me up again. Yeah. You know? you, so you, you've been through uh, how many artists? Three, four? Three. Three. So yeah. it wasn't smart on my end. So yeah. when I first started, I was about 14. Mm -hmm. And um, the first thing I got was the outline of the tombstone because mm -hmm. my dad had just passed away. Okay. So I wanted to get something from him. And um, I picked the best idea ever, which was to pick an artist that was also 14 years old. Mm, what? Wait, yeah. artist that was what? 14? 14. Yeah, he was my age, you know, and he was just tattooing and he was like, oh, let me try it out, you know? Wow. And so I saw the outline and I was like, oh, this is terrible. And so I stopped. And then I didn't get tattooed for about two years. Mm -hmm. And then I was hanging out with the homies, you know? Uh -huh. And then the homies like, hey, bro, I could cover that up, you know? And then that's when, I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but there's a very faded Grim Reaper in the yes, middle. Yes, yes. And then he started doing that, and I was like, oh, this isn't going to cover up anything. Oh, my you God. Know? So then I stopped with that, and then I was like, all right, no more. And then I waited another two, three years. Uh, the girl I was dating at the time, mm -hmm. her stepdad, and he used to have, like, a little room in the back where mm -hmm. he actually, did, like, did tattoos and did quite a bit. And so I was like, all right. So he did the skulls on the side, and so I was like, okay, that's not, that, I mean, it's not great, but it's the best work I've ever gotten. Yeah. So I was like, all right, all right. And then he did the gridley across my stomach, and then I was like, oh, this is the worst decision I've ever made in my life. You know? And then after that, that was 18, so I banned myself from, from there. I was like, no more tattoos. You're I printed a whole bunch of sizes, and I finally landed on the one that is going to fit perfect on that torso. Uh, I'm gonna tape it all together like a puzzle piece. The last paper I just applied, it might be too much, it might be too long already for the torso, but it's always good to have extra instead of having not enough. Because we have such a strong like concept on the top, everything around it is just to complement this. It's not meant to take away from this. Now that I have it put together, what I gotta look for is areas that are like basically not stable. Because when I put on the stencil, I wanna make sure that it's solid. It's nice and clean. So anything that's not, that's loose on some corners is gonna mess me up. So now we have it ready right here. Pretty solid stencil. I did my stencil super simple so I can follow it up a lot easier. With such a big project, you don't want to have a complicated stencil because it's only going to mess with your eyes and make you feel frustrated. And I'm just saying that as my personal opinion. Uh, so my best advice, if you want to try it out, I would 100% recommend for you to do a simple stencil so you, it's easy to follow and just study it, making sure that you practice it, how to execute it. And I promise you, you're going to move a lot faster and less of a mess. I am static, excited. Let's do it. This is your pastor. After I met you guys, I was like, dude, I felt so relaxed. I, I slept like a baby. I think it was really? Like a baby. Uh, Don't want to hype you up, but it's going to be a successful piece. Like, I, I haven't even started, and I already know it's going to turn out amazing. You think it's your day, but it's actually mine. Yeah. <laughs> we'll share the day. Yeah, we'll sure. share the day. We'll share the day. We, we, got, we got three days together, so yeah. we'll, we'll split those days. <laughs> you get one and a half, I get one and a half. <laughs> I mean, I think the newest one was across the stomach and I was maybe 15 years ago. 15? Yeah. And it's not scarred, so whoever did it definitely 
you, like you said, that weren't experience. Thankful for that because now they it's nothing scarred. They yeah. didn't really apply the ink that well, so yeah. that's a positive. Yeah. This is juice. Oh, damn. look at that. Oh, that's like stencil. Stencil stuff. Yeah, oh, that shit. that Jesus juice is the uh, is the holy ointment. <laughs> In this situation, you just gotta trust your instincts. Uh, don't overthink it because it's such a big project that. Um, you just gotta see it. You just gotta see it the way it's placed from this angle and just exactly how you see it, just place it. There goes your nipple. There, there goes your nipple. <laughs> the forehead there is so much texture and so much highlight that I have to play around with it so the background is gonna be solid black so what I'm gonna do is on my reference it shows that towards the edge of the forehead it's a little too dark for me so what I'm gonna do is take that away and make that a highlight that way it stands out I'm gonna do the forehead with a 14 mile liner running in my machine at 5.0 voltage I think you just uh, unlocked a new superpower. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking awesome. Oh, this is gonna be a little bit lighter. Good. You got it. Without you knowing, I'm just all over the place right now, but your body's relaxed. That's
Day one completed. You made it. Crazy. A little too easy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see this. I, yeah. Cannot wait. I cannot wait. Yesterday we did day one of this full torso cover up. It went super well. My client sat like a rock. It was amazing. It was definitely hurting my client, but he was able to set through it. And today is day two. It is the toughest day. We're gonna be doing the whole entire stomach, which today is the day that I'm gonna have to navigate and really take care of him as much as I can, making sure that he's not feeling dizzy, feeling sick, and uh, making sure that he's hydrated today. So let's get it. You're up. Today is your birthday! Shoo! Kyle, help me out. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Anything that happens after, like, because I did the top, the top looks amazing. Everything else is just, it's just gonna fall into place. The tentacles are definitely going to help me out a lot to cover up the lettering. And I really like the fact that I can adjust them without affecting the piece. So it's really flexible in case there's a, uh, a letter that is in a very inconven inconvenient place. I'm able to just use the texture of the tentacle and switch it up, switch up the contrast and the highlights uh, to make sure that I get the job done. What do you want me to go next? I have two options. I can go towards here or I can go towards the back. Your choice. You get to choose whatever whatever side you feel like you can handle better so you can get your energy back. I honestly kind of feel like the side. Okay. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. I want to be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Getting my way in to be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose if it's some loose shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign Yeah! There's no mercy in this world, just hunger, thirsty persons In different versions, each do what they, that shit worsens Why? Pull back the curtain and you'll see the different vermin We all have different burdens that all seem to cause disturbance Yo, so do me a favor, don't treat me like a neighbor Don't need the different flavors of your problems just to savor I've got my own issues, I need a comb to get through Don't need to groan with you, just go get your own tissue I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign We're getting so close to finishing for today it's been a long day. What time is it? Like 7 20. It was a really good day. We got through it. Uh, we're gonna finish uh, tomorrow the last part of this uh, torso project. We only have the, the, the chest and a little bit on the rib area, but we should be fine. We did the hardest thing today, which was the whole entire stomach. 
today is day three. It is the last day, the final day of this torso. My goal for today is to make sure that I take care of my clients. At this point, his body must feel so sore. He's exhausted, in pain. So anywhere I touch on the torso is gonna be a little bit uh, irritated. Hey, yo, he's here. <laughs> How you feeling? Uh, I mean, I'm alive. You're alive. I'm, I'm so happy to hear that. Dang, that's crazy. It's just like, can't stop looking at it. Dude. Like, like yesterday, I thought, so I was looking in the mirror. Mm -hmm. I thought like I was already scabbing. And I was like, no, that's way too fucking early. And then I felt my skin. I'm like, no, that shit's smooth. That shit, <laughs> that shit just looks fucking textured. Like <laughs> the texture in there is crazy yeah. too. That's what I'm saying. It's Bro, like you I, can't stop looking yeah, at it. Yeah, it's fucking wild. Tattooing is a different animal. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. It you up mentally. Mentally and physically. It tests you mentally. And you just get exhausted like if you ran a fucking marathon here we go the last piece of the puzzle right in the middle hey yo what kind of content is this <laughs> what kind of only fans uh-huh look at that dimension it's just hold on let me let me hype you up real quick hey that's <laughs> it the way I'm going to start the, the, this last day is by doing the outline of the lighthouse. Um, it's a better way for me to not worry about the stencil and uh, just focus on shading and doing the backgrounds and stuff like that on the important stuff. Because if I keep worrying about the stencil, I won't be able to navigate. And in, in today, what I need to do is navigate. Just in case he's feeling it on a corner, I can move around and I don't have to worry about erasing the stencil. So I'm just going to lightly do this outline, just enough for me to see what's going on. Uh, what I like doing uh, the day after, uh, after I did one part of the project, and to connect this area to the, uh, to the part that I'm tattooing the following day is caressing the skin you don't want to irritate it because the other side this area since it's been two days it's irritated he's gonna feel it so the best way to do it in my opinion gotta be uh, just barely touching the skin and build it up no rush this is, this is an area that's very sensitive so you want to treat it very uh, gently and I like using a bigger Mac for this situation because or a 14 round liner because it's not that irritating to the skin so just build it wipe very very gently too and as you can see it's already connecting uh, after doing the peg uh, I'm getting really close to that nipple. So what I'm gonna do, I don't want to waste his energy. So I'm gonna move to the stomach area and I'm gonna black it out to move towards the nipple and stop right before I get there. And I'm gonna work around it and work on the, on the armpit area. Cause if I was to tattoo that, his energy levels are gonna get super low and I don't want that. His energy levels right now are high. He's full of energy. So I want to keep it that way as long as I can before I hit that nipple. And technically, it's like not a lot. Cause it's just like this and this. That's pretty much it. Cause this is all background. All we have is this, and we're done. <laughs> you made it. 
Holy shit! <laughs> now that I say you made it, then you just <laughs> you just pass out. <laughs> Wait, I think that puts us like at 30 hours. 30 hours. 30 hours later. 30 hours later. <laughs> I got a um, HP Lovecraft monster, if you want to call it. The favorite part about the piece has to be Cthulhu. Cthulhu's eyes are almost mesmerizing. The way they look at you and uh, the way they pop out at you, it, it's, it's honestly something special. I don't think I could have asked for a better experience overall. Um, when I got to the consultation, I was very nervous. Um, I was very nervous meeting everybody. I was also very nervous on uh, actually showing off what I had already had. And um, Kevin and Mark, Marco really put me at ease really quickly. Um, once I made it to the shop, even though I'd never been here before, I felt at home like almost right away.